You can think of irritable bowel syndrome or IBS assessment like a sadistic, irritated bowel bowl that beats and tortures the assessed man. Patients with IBS experience abdominal pain, shown by the abdominal pain bolt. This pain is often relieved by defecation, shown by the pain bolt being relieved by the poop. Individuals with IBS may experience alternating bouts of diarrhea and constipation, shown by the alternating toilet and cork con toilet. The chronic changes in bowel patterns may cause fatigue, depicted by the sleepy guy, while excessive flatulence shown by the excessive farting is another common complaint. Patients with IBS may also experience a sensation of incomplete evacuation, shown by the poop being incompletely evacuated. It is important to consider stressors, shown by the scissors, that may contribute to the development and exacerbations of IBS. Assess the patient's psychosocial factors, such as stress and anxiety, while obtaining a health history. Food intolerance, shown by the food intolerance, may also contribute to symptoms of this condition. It is also important to note that IBS is more common in women, depicted by the two women. There is no definitive test to diagnose IBS. Thus, tests are conducted to rule out other disorders, shown by ruling out the other disorders with the ruler. So to summarize, irritable bowel syndrome is characterized as a chronic gastrointestinal disorder that includes symptoms of abdominal pain, which may be relieved by defecation, alternating episodes of diarrhea and constipation, fatigue, excessive flatulence, and the sensation of incomplete evacuation. Symptoms may be exacerbated by psychosocial stressors and food intolerances. This condition is more commonly diagnosed in women, and although there is no specific test to identify IBS, diagnostic tests for other health conditions are performed to rule out other disorders. Remember how to interpret quad screen results with this four screen display that shows you the four markers you're looking for. AFP, the Air Force pilot, Estriol, the extraterrestrial, HCG, the hardcore gnome, and inhibin A, the inhibiting chain's apple tree. In this picmonic, we want to show you an interesting way of grouping these markers so that you can remember their corresponding defects. It first starts with a hello, or a hi in this case, said by a child with Down syndrome. He's greeting a turnip that says hi as well for Turner syndrome. They seem to be making fast friends in the garden of the hardcore gnome. Although, he'd rather have this kid not pull his turnips, so he dangles an apple to hopefully lure him away. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're at it, check out our non-inflammatory intestinal disorders Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from colorectal cancer assessment, irritable bowel syndrome assessment, irritable bowel syndrome interventions, types of hernias, hernia interventions, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.